Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Welcome, Carlos, Noria, Iris. It's good to have you here, my dear participants. Uh, today we are going to continue with section number four. Welcome, Noria. Um, I mean, we, are going to, uh, we finished section number four, uh, and uh, we are going to start uh, section number five. Okay. So. Um, let me share with you the, the good evening. Good evening. Hello, Noria. Hello, Rocio. Okay, let me share. Hello, oh, my dear. Good evening. Okay, uh, as you remember, uh, last night we conclude the knowledge check, the last knowledge check of uh, section number four. I invite you to continue practicing at home by saying these numbers that we found here, right? And then today we are going to start with the section number five uh, that says, um, in this session, you will listen to a conversation between two people making plans. Future with present continuous and be going to are introduced. So we are going to start uh, and I'm going to invite you to go to the platform to see, to watch the video 5.1, uh, which is a conversation about making plans, right? So uh, you have there a video that you can watch, you can listen, and you can practice all the new vocabulary that you listen there in order to improve your pronunciation, but also to expand your vocabulary. And then we go to 5.2 lesson objective that says by the end of this session, you will have learned to use future with the present continuous and be going to. So today we are going to focus on uh, present continuous and we are just start uh, the introduction of be going to and tomorrow we are going to continue uh, strengthening more exercises uh, using be going to. So uh, this includes 5.3 future with present continuous and be going to. Here you have another video that talks about the use of one another. And then we have the knowledge check, but I'm going to stop here uh, because we are going to come back to the knowledge check once we have advanced with the class and that we have explained the topic. So uh, here I have a presentation about the present continuous and I would like to confirm, can you watch this screen about the present continuous? Pueden ver mi pantalla del presente continuo? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, basically, what I want you to do is to uh, have the to remember because this is a very common topic in all the levels, all the English levels, but basically to make a comparison between the present continuous and the simple present tense. The present continuous tense is most used uh, to talk about actions that are happening right now. For example, at the same moment that the sentence is spoken, right? So we are talking about something that is happening now as we speak. And we use the verb to be plus the verb with ing forms. For example, I'm studying English now or she's driving a car now at this moment right so for example here it says answer the questions below by using the present continuous tense it's four o'clock in the in the morning now what are you doing so you say mm, let's see at four o'clock in the morning normally i'm sleeping right so you said the action that you're doing at that moment okay let's continue and then uh, now, I would like that you can see the structure, right? But yes, the structure, first and then the difference. Uh, for example, in the positive way of the present continuous, you say, I am walking. Remember that when you say walking, the L doesn't sound. I am walking, negative. I am not walking, but remember that you can contract the subject, I, with the personal with the verb to be am and you say i'm you can say i am not walking or you say i'm not walking 
for the question, remember that for the question, you have to move the verb to be at the beginning of the sentence and say, am I walking? And here you have uh, other examples of the spelling guide, but I will go back to the spelling guide in the next slide. So I just want you to pay attention for the positive, negative or questions. The positive statement is the same of affirmative statement. You're walking, you're not walking. Are you walking? Remember that you can contract you are with you, uh, the contraction in are, and then you say you're. You're walking, you're, uh, you aren't. In this case, you contract the, the verb to be plus the negative particle, and then you, say, then you say you aren't walking. Are you walking? He's walking. He's walking. He's not walking. He isn't walking. Is he walking? She's walking. She, in this case, you say she is walking. In the first case, because it's the full form. In the second example, you say she's, she's walking. She is not walking. She isn't walking. Is she walking? It is walking. It's walking. It is not walking. It isn't walking. Is it walking? We are walking. We're, we're, we're walking. We're not walking. We aren't walking. Are we walking? And so on, right? So uh, let me move now to the difference between the simple present and the present continuous. As you know, we normally use the simple present to talk about habits, regular actions, or situations that we do in our everyday, in our daily life, in daily basis. For example, I wash my hair every day. And we have, and this is an habit, right? So this is something that you do regularly every day, right? And we have learned, even in the simple present tense, that whenever you have a third person singular, that can be he, she, or it, you have to add the um, third person singular rule to the verb. And in this case, you say, he usually gets up, gets up very early. So let me use my supper pen because I want to show you with the spotlight. Yes, that's much better. Okay, he usually gets up, gets up very early. So you have to apply the rule here. We use the simple present to talk about facts, permanent situations or states. For example, I have one brother. So this is a very um, permanent situation, right? Unless I die or unless my brother dies, it's going to be something like permanent. He lives in Paris, it's the same. It's permanent or almost permanent that he's, he lives in Paris. Water boils at 100 degrees. This is a fact, right? A scientific fact that water boils at 100 degrees. With stative verbs, uh, which are stative verbs? We are going to talk about later here. For example, give me the money. I need it now. What happened? You look sad. So uh, we are talking about a condition, a state. And... Um, what are the stated verbs? The verbs of the senses. For example, hear, see, smell, look, seem, sound. We have also some opinion verbs like believe, consider, like, love, hate, prefer, think, etc. We have possession verbs like have, own, belong, etc. And also other verbs like agree, be, be, remember that cero estar is stated, right? Uh, agree, be, with its respective conjugations. Depend, need, mean, remember, realize, recognize, seem, want, etc. So those are the stated verbs, the verbs of the sentence, senses, uh, opinion, possession, and some other. Um, the future timetable events, it means that they're already programmed. Uh, they are scheduled that way. The train leaves at four. 
that's something happens, right? It's usual. The exam start next Monday. So it's an event that is already programmed. So it's simple present. And here we have some signal words that you can use in order to identify when you're talking about a simple present. You say always, never, often, sometimes. Remember that all of them are frequency, uh, adverse of frequency, right? Every day, once a month, etc. So this is the simple present. Now, what happened with um, the what happened with the present continuous? Basically, as I said before, the present continuous is used to, to express actions that are happening right now. It means as we speak, right, in this moment. Um, you can say, I can talk, I'm brushing my teeth. Or for example, I can say to my daughter, I can talk, I can play to you, I'm teaching my English class, right? So what's what I'm doing right now? I'm reading a new book. I love it. So those are actions in progress now or around now. I use the present continuous to talk about temporary actions or situations. For example, I am going to work by bus this week. So it's temporary. It's only this week. I'm living with my cousin, cousins until I find an apartment. So it's a very temporary action or situation. Um, also, we use the present continuous for changing or developing situations. For example, the climate is changing very quickly. Your English is improving, right? So it's a condition that is changing or developing every day. For future actions that are decided, I'm meeting John this evening. So this is an event that is going to happen, but in the very short time. And it's very, um, there's a 90% of probability that this will happen this evening. We are leaving tomorrow at seven. So it's 90% of possibility that this will happen, right? And some signal words that you can find in the simple, in the present continuous tense is now, at the moment, these days, this week, this month, this year, right? So whenever you um, see them, we are talking about present continuous. Uh, but um, here in this chart, I want to explain you some rules. When we are going to change a verb, a main verb of a sentence uh, to present continuous, we need to keep in mind these spelling rules. For example, the words with one syllable uh, that end in E, right? Like make, write, uh, come, etc. You eliminate the E and add ing. For example, make, making, right? Excuse me. My, um, make, making, write, writing, dry, driving. Sometimes a word ends in a vowel plus a consonant, right? Vowel, consonant, and then a vowel again. I mean, I mean a vowel, consonant, vowel. That's the, the formula. Uh, for example, um, get. It finished uh, with a vowel plus consonant. Vowel plus consonant. Vowel plus consonant. Like get, run, swim. In this case, only in this case that the verb ends in a vowel plus a consonant, you have to uh, duplicate the, the last letter, in this case, the last uh, consonant. You have to double. For example, get, getting, run, running, swim, swimming. Uh, we don't have to do so. We don't have to double the letter if the word ends in two consonants, right? Two consonants, help, L-P. So you don't have to duplicate. You say helping, you just add I-N-G. Talk, L-K. You don't have to duplicate, just add I-N-G. Talking, work, R-K. 
done a double nothing and just uh, ing, work, working. You don't double the letter if the word ends in two vowels, right? Plus a consonant. For example, look, you don't have to duplicate and you add ing and say looking. Read, uh, reading with no duplication. Speak, speaking, no duplication. Don't double the letter if the word ends in W, X, or Y. So this is an exception to the first rule. For example, snow. If you see, you say teacher, but it, it's a vowel consonant at the end. And I say yes, but this is an exception because it finished with W. Or fix, it finished with X. Or by, it finished with Y. So snow, you keep it the same, just add ing, snowing. Fix, just add ing, fixing. Buy, just add ing, buying. So this is a very uh, important chart for you. I will take a picture and I will send it to you today. To the WhatsApp group because we are going to have a practice with this. So if you can take a picture, it's going to be okay. So let me share. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Here I have an exercise that says, complete the sentences below using ing verb forms. And we have already solved, I am watch, watching with TV with my family. And then we have from number two to number 12. So we have like 11 exercises for you to um, practice. So what I'm going to do is that you are going to join in the breakout rooms and then you are going to discuss how it should be according, how it should be according to the rule, right? So if you can take a picture, it's okay. If not, I'm taking one right now and I will send it to you in order that you can practice. Okay, uh, do you have questions so far about what we are going to do? Tenemos preguntas de lo que vamos a hacer? No, teacher. No, okay, so let me just open for uh, breakout rooms. And I will ask you to please join and look for the best way to answer the sentences by using the spelling rules of how to create an ing uh, verb, main verb. Having lunch in the cafeteria. 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 No, I don't know what, what is the pronunciation. Lunch in the cafeteria. Hello, cafeteria. The pronunciation of the word cafeteria. Yes. Cafeteria. Yes. Cafeteria. Excellent. Do you have questions, my dears? Uh, mm, no. No. Okay, excellent. Okay, see you in a couple of minutes in the main room, okay? You have like three more minutes uh, to finish the exercise, okay? Okay, thank you. See you. Hello, hello, my dear Ingrid, can you hear me? 
Yes, teacher. Uh, Sorry, we have problem with the internet. Okay, don't worry. Uh, if you want, you can continue here working by yourself, trying to solve the exercise, and I will go around with the groups. Or if you want, I can send you to another breakout room. Oh, no problem. Okay. What, do, what do you prefer, staying here or sending? Stay people? here. Okay. Okay, so I'll come back in a minute. I will go around, okay? Thank you. Excellent, you're welcome. Filling the bucket with water. Okay. The barber is cutting, is, is cutting my hair. Nice. Are you eating breakfast now? Okay. I think our team is winning the game. Good. We finished this year. Excellent. Oh. I see you. You're, you're finished. Excellent. So I call you in a minute. To yes. The room, okay. Excellent. Okay. Thank see you. you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Thank But in the hello, hello. Is everything okay? No. Are you about to finish, my dear? No. <laughs> if you want to ask something, oh. it's a problem, it is. <laughs> <laughs> hello, do you have questions, it is? Mm. Me, the not. Number, I don't know, it is. The number two. Eh, solo va, solo se le agrega ING, se le dobla la letra P. Eh, can you, can you see, can you Stop. tell me what, yes, in this case you have to double, because it oh. ends, it ends with eh, OP, OP, and there's no exception, right? So you say stopping and you have to duplicate the P, right, according to the rule. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Thank yes. you. Okay, okay. Thank you, this is, that's the first rule. Esa es la primera regla que aparece en el cuadrito, ¿verdad? Mm. Uh -huh. uh yes. Ajá, yes. Okay, yes. excellent. <laughs> thank you, teacher. You're thank welcome. You. Okay, I'll call you back in a minute. Le llamo un minutito, ¿ok? Ok. <laughs> ok, see you in a minute. Mm. Five. In planning, in, oh, excuse me. ING. Only ING. Yes. Hello, hello. Is everything hello. okay here, my dears? Are you about to finish? Uh, yeah. Casi. <laughs> Almost. Okay. Okay. One more minute. And Number I back. Okay. okay. Excellent. Okay, teacher. Perfect. Okay. okay. Hello, hello, welcome back. We're gonna wait just a couple of minutes for people, one, one uh, couple of seconds for people to come back to the main room. And then we are going to start sharing how was the exercise and how were the, the answers, right? So let me just go back to my sharing in order that you can tell me the answers you consider and then I'll try to write it. Okay, perfect. I think that most of you came back. So who wants to start with number two? I want that you can please, the volunteers, read the whole sentence and that you can tell me what you did with the verb, how you write it, and then I will write the verb as you say, okay? Yes. 
Me, teacher. Okay, please, Rocio, go ahead. Why are, why are you stopping the car? Okay. Me, only ING. Me, teacher. Okay. Okay, who has a difference with, the, with this verb? ¿Alguien tiene diferente eh, con este verbo? La compañera me dijo solo agregue la ING. Oh, no. It's so WP. You have to double, ¿verdad? You have to duplicate the, the P because eh, originally the verb ends is a, in a vowel consonant. So it's the rule number one. So you, and there's not exception. Y no termina en W, X o Y, ¿verdad? Entonces, stop it. But the, the rest is okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, number two. Who wants to continue with number two? Okay. Julia, Julia is having lunch in the cafeteria. 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 Okay. Cafeteria. So, what you did with the verb have? A-H-A-B-I-N-G. Okay, so it means that you eliminate the E and add I-N-G, right? Yes. Excellent, very good. Okay, so um, maybe 20 is the best size for you to watch it better. Okay, number three. Who wants to uh, continue with number three? My, uh, who wants to read it and tell me what you did with the verb? Uh, my wife mm -hmm. and I are planning to travel next summer. Okay. Double N? Double N, right? Because it's similar to stop, right? It's the same rule. My wife and I are planning to travel next summer. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, number five. Who wants to continue with number five? Okay, volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, please. Richard <laughs> Which one is saying his. Uh huh. Sorry, you can do the next, please. Okay, Richard is paying, my friend. Richard is paying his telephone bill. Excellent. So, what you did with the with the verb? Is uh, is the if the word end in in la ye? Perdón. Why? Why? <laughs> Why in English? Uh huh. Um, That's an exception, right? Do not. Okay. Do not double the letter if the word in in. Ends in Y. Okay. Excellent. So okay. you don't duplicate. You don't double. So pay, right? Excellent. Richard okay. is paying his okay. telephone uh, bill. Excellent. It is. Okay. Uh, Same. Thank you, my dear. Julio. Uh, Iris, would you like to help me with number six, my dear? Uh, I am talking to my friend on the phone. Okay, so what you did with the verb? Uh, ing. Okay, only, right? Uh, because according mm -hmm. to the rule, it ends with two consonants. So I don't have to duplicate nothing. And I said talking, talking to my friend on the telephone. Thank you very much. Okay, volunteer for number seven. Me? Okay. May I teach her? Yes, please. Go ahead. And is, <laughs> is showing with one W. Okay, you don't duplicate and just add ing, right? Mm -hmm. Can you read the whole sentence, Emperatriz, please? Ah, uh, okay. She's showing the report to her boss. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Number eight, volunteer for number eight. Let's see. 
My friends are meeting mm -hmm. each other in New York. Meeting W T I N G. You think that that we have to du duplicate the T. 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 W T. Double T. Okay. T. okay. And, thank you. Okay. Yeah. But uh, if you see the rule, it says that if it it if it has two vowels before the last consonant then you don't have to duplicate right so oh. it keeps the same oh. uh, so let me go uh, just to show you right uh, so it says uh, it's yeah one t it's like in this is number it's the number one two three four do oh, not okay. double the letter if the word ends in two vowels plus a consonant and you have the example look two vowels read Two vowels speak okay. to vowels okay. so okay. it's the same case right thank you okay. so meet they have two vowels there okay, okay. Thank, thank you. you but it's good in order that we can memorize the rule okay uh number nine volunteer may i teacher yes Imperatriz, please uh, i'm filling the bucket with wa with water we uh, i put ing only right because it finished in uh -huh, only. Uh, two consonants fill filling okay very mm -hmm. good uh, number 10. make teacher please go ahead yes cutting 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 what you do? Double T. Yes. Excellent. Yes. In this case, it applies. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. In this case, it applies the rule number one, right? Because you have a vowel consonant, and then you have to double the T and say cutting. The barber is cutting my hair. Okay. Let's see number eleven. Uh, do we have a volunteer for number eleven, please? Me, teacher. Okay, please go ahead. Are you eating breakfast now with a double T? No, only ING. Only ING, yes, because we have double consonant there. Okay. Right? And double vowel, excuse me. Look, E and A. E and A. So that's why you don't need to duplicate and just add ING and say eating breakfast. Okay, number 12, the last one. Okay, I think our team is winning with a double N, I, and G. Excellent, yes, because we have a vowel a consonant, so we have to duplicate. It's similar to stop and it's similar to um, plan, yes. So uh, it's similar to cut. So we say, I think our team is winning the game. Thank you very much. Congratulations, my dear. You did a great job by applying the rule in the way you have to uh, write correct, uh, correctly the verbs when you do an ING form and uh, you follow the spelling rules. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, we are going to, I think that we are going to finish the class always with uh, ING and tomorrow we are going to continue with B plus going to because I don't want to mix things and get and you can get confused. So today is just ING. So uh, the, the next part is an exercise that I would like you uh, to do in order for you to speak and once uh, and since you know the rules, now it's time for speaking. It's your speaking practice. So uh, we have here some scenario. And the scenario says, it's 8.30 in the morning now. So we are going to imagine that now it's 8.30 in the morning, right? So the question is, what are you doing now, right? Uh, the next, uh, so you have to provide the answer, right? Uh, number three, 
It's noon now. What are you doing? Noon, remember that it's lunchtime, right? Uh, the half of the day, it means 12 o'clock is noon. Noon is equals to 12 o'clock uh, uh, in the day, in the lunchtime. Okay, um, number four says it's 1.30 in the afternoon now. What are you doing? Number five, it's quarter to four in the afternoon now. What are you doing? It's five, six. It's 5.30 in the afternoon now. What are you doing? Seven, it's eight o'clock in the evening now. What are you doing? Remember that afternoon is just before noon. Uh, I mean, afternoon, excuse me, it's just after noon, which is 12 uh, uh, in the lunchtime, for example. In the evening, uh, it's uh, a little bit later. For example, we say good evening, even though it's night, we say good evening because it's a greeting. Once we say goodbye at night, we say good night. Uh, okay, it's eight o'clock in the evening now, what are you doing? And it's 10.30 in the evening now, what are you doing? So what I, want, what I expect is that you can go to the breakout rooms now and that you can ask and answer at least two of these questions, right? Uh, to each member of the, of the group. Do you have questions so far? And remember that in your answer, you are going to use the ING form. For example, if you say, it's nine o'clock in the evening, what are you doing now? And then I say, I am teaching, I am teaching my English class with my, uh, to my students. Or I just say, I'm teaching my English class, right? So I'm using the main verb of my uh, sentence to respond I'm using it with the ING form. Do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to invite you once again to go to the breakout rooms and please join. I already sent you the invitation and also the material you will need, it's in the uh, WhatsApp group. <laughs> Hello, my it's dear. Here, so, sorry. Uh, eh, solo yo me he quedado, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, ¿será que puede darle join? Eh, lo que pasa es que no me salió la, la, la ventanita. No le salió la ventanita. Después no me salió la, la opción. Vaya, no se preocupe, Angelito. Voy a, voy, a, 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 voy a unirlos a diferentes grupos. Ahorita le mando de nuevo la invitación. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Ok, did, did you receive it? I sent for group number four. No teacher, I, I don't receive any mes message. Could you review, maybe it's hidden? Tal vez está escondidita por ahí la ventana? Yes, I try and I review. No, no, okay. Don't worry, we can work together here, okay? So okay. What, what we are going to do is that you can you, you choose two questions to ask me and I'll come back to ask you two questions and then you provide the answer, right? Okay. Okay, so let, let's try to work here. So just wait for me because I need to go around the groups and see if they have any question and so far, okay? Problem. Okay, I'll come back in a minute. Thank you. You're welcome. In the, in the, in the morning only. In the afternoon, you, you come back to the house. Uh, uh, I continue with, with my job. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Everything okay. Hello. here? Hello. I like your practicing. I like your speaking. Excellent. Yes. No yes. questions, right? <laughs> Excellent. Okay. See you in a couple of minutes, okay? I leave you in order that you can work. And I am uh, taking lunch. 
Okay, my dear Angel, I will start uh, asking some questions to you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, let's see. Let's think about uh, the first question. It's 8.30 in the morning now. What are you doing? I am, uh, I am working at, uh, yes, I am working at that hour. Excellent. If you ask me, I can say, I am working too. I am working at home by now, but normally I am working at the office. Okay, let's see. It's noon now. Let's imagine. What are you doing? It, when noon is the, in the middle of the, uh, at the day, yes, right? Yes, at 12 okay. o'clock. At 12 o'clock. Uh, okay, it's noon now. Uh, I am cooking at okay. that hour. Excellent. Excellent. I can say uh, I'm taking lunch, right? Okay, thank you. But now that I'm working from home, I'm cooking too. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, I will come back in a minute. Okay, you can think about the other questions and I will come back. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Is everything okay, my dear? Is everything okay? Yes. 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 Excellent. Okay. Excellent. I call you in a couple of minutes. You can continue speaking, okay? Okay. Excellent. Hello, Angel and Ingrid. It's good to have you here. Hi. Hi, Angel. Uh, would you like to? I would like to ask you one extra question just to, to complete the practice. Let's see. Let's imagine that is um, uh, one thirty in the afternoon now. What are you doing? I am sleeping at at, at, at that hour. I am oh sleeping. yes, yes, it's delicious to sleep. It's at very sound. Are you taking a nap, or so you can say I'm taking a nap. Yes, that's the, the right. Uh, because it, it's more uh, clear that saying sleeping, right? Taking a nap, uh, you know that is something short, right? Yes, yes. Not sleeping the whole afternoon, yes. In my case, sometimes I take a nap, but uh, I have a, a, a four-year-old baby, so it's impossible for me to take a nap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I am yeah. not, I am single. I, uh, I, am not, I that, don't have children. That's a good advantage sometimes. My dear Ingrid, uh, would you like to join the conversation? Hello, can you hear us, Ingrid? I'm not sure if Ingrid is listening to us. Okay, Angel, I will go to the last group and then I will come back, okay? Sure. Excellent. See you in a minute. Exercise English, and now I'm doing exercise. <laughs> Hello, my dears. Is everything okay? Yes, Miss. <laughs> Are you about to finish? Are you about? Uh, to finish? Did you complete your two mm -hmm. at least two questions? Uh, yes. Excellent, excellent. So I will call you back in a minute to the main room, okay? Okay. Excellent, excellent. See you in a minute. Okay. It is. Number. Um, hello, hello, Angel. I'm back again. So my last question for you is, um, it's quarter to four in the afternoon now. What are you doing? I am in a meeting okay. for my job. Okay. Yes. Excellent. You better use uh, the word meeting or re reunion, something like no. It normally, it's meeting. 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 Yes. Uh, you can use reunion time, but normally it's a meeting. It's a a, a meeting with your coworkers or with your boss. Yes. 
Okay, thank my dear, thank you for coming back. Uh, let's continue with the, thank you, Angel, for practicing uh, here in the main room. Okay, so we are going to start our last practice uh, for tonight. So I would like um, volunteers from the different teams in order to uh, show us what, you, what did you practice in the breakout rooms? So what did you, how did you answer to the questions of the scenario of what are you doing now? Okay, so who wants to start? Let's see. If not, uh, may I ask you, Carlitos Escobar and team, to start? With the dynamic you decide, right? Okay, teacher. Thank you. And only, only one question. Okay, that's okay. Or, or no, or uh, hold. For the questions, no. I think I think because of the time, one question, one answer, and then you move around in order that all of them, all of you, can uh, ask a question and answer a question. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a theory in the morning now. What are you doing? Uh, I ask them. Um, you can say, "What are you doing, Fulanita or Fulanito?" Uh, what are you doing, Daniel? Uh, he saved me. He is taking but, a shower. But, excuse me, but I would like that Daniel can answer, and then Daniel ask someone else. Oh, ah, okay. That way? Okay, so you can start asking Daniel, then Daniel answers, and okay. then Daniel asks to someone else. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, hello, Daniel. It's 830 in the morning now. Uh, what are you doing? Um, hello. I am <clears throat> taking a shower. Okay. okay. Um, Elisa? Elizabeth? Hola, hola. Hola. Okay. It's 8.30 in the morning. What are you doing? I'm taking a breakfast. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now, Elizabeth, you decide to who you are going to whom you are going to ask a question. Uh, uh, Julio, Julio, me dijo. O, o yo tengo que decidir aquí. No, you decide. You decide. Ah, okay. Uh, Carlos. Carlos, ¿estás por ahí? Hi, <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> Carlos. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. What are you doing? Uh, I continue with my work. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So you close the question and answer circle in that group. Excellent. Thank you very yeah. much. Okay, so let's see. Next team, I will ask uh, no Noria. Would you like to continue, please? Yes, you start asking a question and then uh, the other person continues until all, all of you have participated. Okay, and hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Angel. It's eight o'clock in the evening. What, what are you doing? Mm, I am. I am. I am working. Some I am working on that hour. Okay. So Angel, you can ask a question to Noria or to someone else in the team. Okay. Uh, Ingrid is it's ten thirty in the evening. What are you doing? Leo, 
knowing you. Okay. He said Ingrid. Ingrid. Yes, yeah, so then Ingrid can ask you, okay? And then you close the circle. Can you hear us, Ingrid? I think Ingrid, Ingrid said that she has some internet problems, I remember. Yes. So, uh, okay. Noria, could you please answer the question? Angel, could you repeat the question, please? Okay. 1030 in the, in the evening. Noria, what are you doing? For the repeat, please. It's 10.30 in the, in the afternoon, he said. What are you doing? It's 10.30. 10.30. I think that he said 10.30. I don't know. 10.30 in, in the evening. Yes, the, the last. La, the the last, eight. number eight. Okay. Number eight. It's great. I am watching TV. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much, my dear team. Thank you for uh, completing the exercise. So let's see. I don't know if Rocio's team. Yes, teacher, with Noria. My okay. team is with Noria. Okay, okay. Uh, so you can ask a question to Noria and then Noria ask you. Okay. Uh, Noria. Uh, Noria. He, Noria, it's uh, five thirty in the afternoon. Why? What are you doing? Five thirty. Five thirty. Um, I am walking from my neighborhood. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Rocio. Now, Noria, you can ask a question to Rocio. Okay, so it's noon. What have you done? It's noon. Um, I am eating my lunch. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for your participation, my dear team. Uh, Emperatriz, would you like to continue? Okay, miss. Thank you. Uh, any question, right? Yes, the one you decide and, and the ones that you feel comfortable asking and answering. <laughs> okay, it is Mena. Uh, yeah. To it is Mena. Mm -hmm. um, okay, it is. It's one. Uh, it's five thirty in the afternoon. What are you doing? Uh, I coming home. Okay, I'm coming back home, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Now you can ask a question to Emperatriz. Uh, Emperatriz, it's eight o'clock in the evening. Now, how are you doing? Um, I'm calling with my boyfriend. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, or you can say I'm uh, talking uh, with my my boyfriend, or I'm uh, at the phone, right? Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Miss. Okay, thank you. Uh, so uh, let me see if do we miss a group? Rocio, no, Ingrid had a problem. Daniel already did it. Julio Cesar, did you participate, right? No. No, right? Who was your team? Eh, Noria y Rocío. Ah, okay. Would you like to ask a question to Noria or to Rocío? Yes. Okay, please. It is 5.30 in the afternoon. What are you doing? Noria. Hello. Hey. Eh, rip. It is five thirty in the afternoon. What are you doing, Noria? It's number six, Noria. Okay. It's five thirty in the afternoon. I am drinking my coffee. Okay. That's okay. 
Excellent. Nadia, would you like to ask a question to Julio Cesar to close the, the group participation? Okay, don't worry. Okay. Okay, Rocio, would you like to ask a question? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Julio, it's uh, eight o'clock in the evening. What are you doing? Yeah, I am eating with my family. Okay, okay, thank you. Excellent, thank you very much, teams. Congratulations, you did a, uh, congratulations. You did a great job by answering and asking questions using uh, the question, what are you doing now? And then saying, uh, using a verb with the ing uh, form in order to say an action that is happening right now as we speak. Okay, or in the moment, uh, uh, in the very precise moment, right? So this has been the present continuous, right? The present continuous uh, practice and the present continuous compare with the simple present tense. For tomorrow, we are going to continue with the going to in order that you can, um, I mean, no, tomorrow we don't have class. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Tomorrow is Friday. You have free. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, for next Monday, we are going to continue with the going to, right? Um, I'm going to share materials with you, and you already have them. I, I already shared, right? I already shared, so you already have them to continue practicing. But remember that the priority is that for this weekend, you need to have completed all the platform exercises until section number four. So it means all the section number four needs to be completed by this coming uh, Sunday the most, because the next Monday we are going to uh, start, and, uh, I mean, continue and complete the section number five, and then uh, we expect to start uh, the English course. Let me see the next, so just let me. Teacher, yeah. Penny. The next week is is our the last the last class. Yes, right? yes. The last week we finish. It's our last week together, and I mean in this in this model, right? So the idea is that we can start. Let me see. Just let me see the calendar. So the idea is that we can start uh, by the end of August. Uh, by August, we finish by August. Uh, 20, 29, 28. 28, right? So we finish and we expect if it's possible to start uh, as soon as possible next week, right? But if you haven't finished the platform, it's not possible for the administration team to do all the paperwork in order to start the, the next model. So that's why I'm asking you to please complete as, as faster or as much as you can, the platform exercises from section four this week, uh, this weekend the most, and if you can advance to section five, it's okay, right? Uh, but next week we are going to finish uh, the whole course, right? So um, okay. just to finish the class and to advance a little bit, I would like to share uh, the exercise, let's see. Yeah, no, um, yes, yes, here we have it. Okay, so uh, you can advance if you want, even until 5.4 in the platform, right? In that knowledge check, basically what we are using is a present continuous, right? Uh, use as future, it says. Use the pronoun and the verb in brackets. So for example, number one, what you do tonight? Would you like to go out? So the question is, what are you doing, right? Uh, so the, the main verb is do, so you just add ing. Number two, you do anything on Friday night. Do you want to see a movie? So are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? So uh, remember that we can use the uh, present continuous to talk about future plans. And that's the case of this exercise. Number three, we have friends over for a bar barbecue on Sunday. Would you and your parents like to come? So the answer is, are 
uh, we are having um, friends over at barbecue on Sunday. Would you, you and your parents like to come? Number four, um, you stay in town next week, weekend. Do you want to go for a hike? So the right answer is, are you staying in town next weekend? Do you want to go for a hike? And the part two, it's be going to. So the part two, I'm not going to work it now because we are going to study next Monday. So next Monday, we'll come back again to this exercise in order to complete it, okay? But basically, you can even advance a little bit more in the section number five if you want. Okay, do we have some, do we have final questions? Tenemos preguntas yeah. adicionales? No mostró más. <laughs> perdón. <laughs> Quería verlo todo. No, no le comprendí, Carlos, perdón. No, que no mostró todo, todo, toda la evaluación. Casi. <laughs> Pero no, no lo llevo al going to porque eh, todavía no lo hemos ah. visto. Sí, entonces me quedé hasta, eh, perdón, no, no lo llevé al future, eh, en, Going to, sino que los he llevado solo con el ING, ¿sí? Pero no entiendo algo, ay, disculpe que me... No, no se preocupe, adelante. Pero, pero, pero ¿por qué estamos viendo el, 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 el ING si no es futuro? Lo que pasa es que, eh, vaya, ahí es donde, por eso precisamente porque no quería, porque quería evitar la confusión, no he visto el going to. El going to no sirve para hacer eh, planes futuros. Eh, por eso les pido que vayan a la plataforma y lo vean. En cambio, el ING es, es para hablar de cosas que están ocurriendo en este momento, ¿sí? Entonces, la primera parte de ese ejercicio, a ver, eh, la primera parte de ese ejercicio eh, es, ¿qué estás haciendo esta noche? ¿Te gustaría salir? ¿Ve? Uh -huh. La segunda es, eh, eh, ¿estás haciendo algo el sábado en la noche? Eh, o sea, lo que, lo que ese ejercicio muestra es que también nos sirve para hablar de planes futuros, pero bien cercanos, no tan futuros, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Entonces, ¿estás haciendo algo el sábado en la noche? ¿Quieres ver una película? La siguiente es, es eh, vamos a estar teniendo algunos amigos, y cuando, si, cuando decimos over four, en casa, ¿verdad? O sea, que van a venir a una barbacoa el sábado. ¿Te gustaría a ti y a tus padres venir? Y la número cuatro... Mm. Es, eh, eh, ¿Estarás eh, en, en la ciudad la próxima semana? Eh, o, o, ¿O te estás quedando en la ciudad la próxima semana? ¿Estás permaneciendo en la ciudad la próxima semana? Eh, ¿Te gustaría ir a una caminata? Entonces, lo dejo hasta ahí porque el, go, el be going to es otra historia. También nos sirve para hablar de cosas a futuro, más que el ING. El ING en realidad no sirve para hablar de cosas que están pasando en este momento, pero podría darse preguntas como esas que están en el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué estás haciendo esta noche? ¿Qué estás haciendo mañana? ¿Verdad? Eh, es un futuro, pero cortísimo, súper corto, ¿verdad? Porque más que todo el ING nos sirve para hacer eh, afirmaciones o negaciones de lo que está ocurriendo en el momento casi, ¿verdad? Entonces, el going to... Todavía no lo voy a trabajar, lo vamos a trabajar el lunes, precisamente por eso, porque no quería que se me confundieran entre una cosa y la otra, ¿verdad? Eh, you can go to the platform and you can watch two videos there and then it will clarify a little bit more the difference between two, right? Pueden ir a la plataforma y en los videos ahí van a encontrar más diferencia, porque ahorita yo he hecho la diferencia entre presente simple y eh, presente continuo. Luego, el lunes, vamos a ver la diferencia entre presente continuo y going to, que es futuro cercano. ¿Sí? Yes, teacher, it's okay. Ok. Eh, ¿Extra questions? No, no teacher. Ok, no, no, teacher. no sé si le clarifiqué al compañero, que me, a Carlos, creo que fue Carlitos que preguntó. Yes, teacher. I ok, get it. excellent, Carlitos. Excellent. That's why I didn't want to mix them today. Ok. Okay, be safe, enjoy your weekend, and uh, I hope to see you next weekend, okay? Okay, okay. take care, bye-bye.